Hey everybody, Pete Werner here with DVCFan.com. Uh, this is the first video that uh, of a series I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time, which is recipes, things you can cook in your DVC villa. So, I am here with my good friend, Ben Malin, who's uh, going to be cooking for us today. We are in a one-bedroom villa at Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House Savannah View, of course. Um, and I think Ben is going to be making um, a, a dish that was served uh, on day one at Walt Disney World in King Stephen's Banquet Hall, which is now known as Cinderella's or Cinderella Royal Table, Cinderella's Royal Table, however. Um, and it is a fried brie. Now, uh, at the point that we're recording this, uh, Ben has already made this. He's going to explain what he did. Um, but Ben's already made this, and we have already tried it. And I want to tell you something. When he first said fried brie, I was like, nah. Oh, my God. It is so, so good. Relatively quick and easy to make, right? Yeah. And he's going to explain it to you. But uh, just a reminder, this video, along with all the videos we do on DVC Fan, brought to you by the world of DVC, which includes DVCResaleMarket.com, if you'd like to purchase or sell your DVC resale contract, DVCRentalStore.com, if you'd like to rent some points, try DVC before you buy, and MoneraFinancial.com, which can help you finance your next DVC resale purchase. So with that... Let's hand it over to Ben to explain how to make this awesome dish in your villa. Okay, so Ben, explain. Let's start up by talking about the ingredients. What do, what do they need? And oh, by the way, all of this you are able to purchase at Publix. We know that because that's what we did before we came here. So let's talk mm -hmm. about uh, the ingredients they need for this. Yeah, um, so vegetable oil, brie cheese, uh, all-purpose flour. It can call for cayenne pepper, but if your kids are, you know. Yeah, I was happy he didn't put that yeah. in this. Um, you need a you need an egg to dredge the cheese in, and then breadcrumbs, and then any tomato sauce, marinara sauce for dipping. And That's for this, for this, you used uh, Classico pizza sauce. Yeah, but literally anything, whatever your kids like, is pretty simple, or whatever you like. Except ragu, I will not tolerate the use of ragu. Okay? I avoided that one. Or prego. It was a bad, bad, bad red sauce. Intuition kicked in on that one. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. So let's explain the process. What do we do to make this? Yeah, well, you just need to get out the correct amount of breadcrumbs, the correct amount of flour. Just one egg is all you need. You get two brie cheese rounds, cut them up into eight, which is pretty simple to do. Uh, first, coat them in flour knock off the excess, and just put them in a bowl plate somewhere on the side. Dredge them in the eggs next, and then coat them in breadcrumbs, and then put them back, have them ready to go. Behind you, your oil should be heating up. You don't need to heat it up too much. Um, and just to point out, we made sure that everything can be made with the uh, utensils available yeah. in the villa. So we didn't bring anything from the outside other than the ingredients. Yeah, so in terms of like, there was one measuring cup, but it's all we needed. Um, we had a little thing of tablespoons, teaspoons somewhere. It was enough, it was fine. This was super easy to do. Uh, of course, if you don't know how hot oil needs to be, if it's smoking behind you, that's too much. Um, you should kind of be able to smell it a little bit and you can take any of these breadcrumbs, which is what I did. I just kept it beside the pot, opened it up, sprinkled a few in, and they sizzled. You're good. You know, keep it just below. And I didn't know that. I didn't know that as a yeah. trick for oil. Yeah. Um, I mean, I have a food thermometer at home normally, but again. Again, would... you're probably not bringing your food thermometer or your stand mixer uh, on vacation. So that's why I wanted to make sure that any of the recipes we do mm -hmm. in this series utilizes things that are, or cooking utensils that are already in the villas. Yeah, yep. So if it's sizzling a little bit, you can drop it in. Um, putting anything in oil is gonna bring the heat down naturally. So maybe after your first batch, 
you'll need to turn it up just a little bit, but it should never go above medium heat on your stove for any reason, period. Um, but frying in there for a minute is it. So literally be right over it with some tongs, 30 seconds, turn them, 30 more, get them out, you're done. Yeah, so 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other side, and then take them out. I drained them on paper towels and then put them on the serving plate. And all I did with the marinara sauce, pizza sauce, whatever you use, heat it on the stove behind you, and that's it. Served it. Um, there was already a little serving bowl here and an even smaller one to put the sauce in, so we kind of were able to make a display just with what we already had. We brought nothing. Um, so that worked out. Maybe it took 15 minutes, 20 minutes to do. And that was it. So it was pretty easy. And when I tell you, I'm, and we're also, uh, he's not on camera, he's out on the balcony right now, but uh, John Sakari, Big Fat Panda, uh, is here with us as well. And when I, we both took a bite of it, and I said, uh, you know, I'm really not a fan of brie, but this is good. And John turned around and said, I'm not a fan of brie either, and I really like this. So, you know, as Ben mentioned, you can do it with mozzarella if uh, that's what your kids are, you know, wanting. But yeah. um, try it with the brie. You might be surprised. You might be surprised. A lot, a lot creamier texture. Yeah, creamier uh, texture. Do it, and oh, it's so good. Yeah, if you don't coat it enough, it'll literally pour right out, and which is what happened to one of ours. So it's a really, really creamy cheese, and that's why you don't need a lot of time. It'll be crispy quickly. It's already melted, ready to go, ready to dip. Super good. And they didn't last. <laughs> they didn't last. So there you have it, folks. A look at a recipe from day one at Walt Disney World in 1971 that you can make in your DVC villa. And that will do it for the first of our, uh, our, our I don't even know what I'm going to call these yet, but our little DVC cooking shows. Um, and we hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next time.